Well, that was quick. <laughs> it seems that West Ham have finally, finally, well, quickly and decisively given in to the fan pressure, the backlash that they got um, on social media um, from all the fans, you know, after they tried to, um, they put out their season ticket renewal policy. Um, I did a video on it yesterday. Nicky did a video on it yesterday. So if you haven't seen it, if you're not up to speed, um, go and watch them if you want to get more detail. But basically they tried to release, give you two options basically, pay for your season ticket up front completely, and then we'll refund you for the games you can't attend, um, which is still an option, or, you know, give it to you, sell it on to a family or friend. And so I went in saying, you know, a lot of people don't have people they can sell it on to. Um, and also the fact of, you know, what if you don't want to go, what if you can't go as well and you don't want to sell it on. So now they've brought in a third option, right, after massive, massive backlash, right? Um, and I'll just sort of skim over it. So now they've said, um, after watching Dan Wallace's video on West Ham Fan TV, we have this, no, not really. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, I'm not taking any credit at all, by the way. That's a joke, though, for anyone slates me. Um, alternatively, season ticket holders who are hesitant about returning to matches during this time can opt to secure their seat by making a part payment of 30% of their season ticket costs. Once a 70% capacity or upwards is permitted for Premier League matches at the London Stadium, you have the right to purchase the remaining pro rata value of that your season ticket in the sales window, right? So basically, first of all, up front, you pay like 30% of your season ticket, right? So for me, that's got to be like, what, 100 and, 120, um, something like that, 130 or something. So my refund really should cover it in my club cash. Some Apparently some fans' club cash have been going missing. I need to make sure because I will go mad if that's the case. Um, so you, that secures your seat. You don't get to go to games, right? Though you can't, you're not in the ballot if you pay that. That just means your season ticket's secure. Once they say that at least 70% of fans can go and watch the matches, then they give you the chance to say, hey, do you want to come back? Um, you can purchase the rest of your season ticket, but pay for the remaining games. So you're not going to have to pay the full amount of what your season ticket would be. You know, so if there's five games left, you pay five games worth of your season ticket, basically, if you choose to. Um, so, and in the event that a capacity of 70% or greater is not permitted at the London Stadium during um, the 2021 season, your 30% parts payment will be off offset against your 21-22 season ticket, which I think is a really good idea. So that means if I don't want to go back or I can't go back or we can't go back for the whole of next season, this 30%, it comes off your season ticket for the following season. Um, so, I mean, this is what a lot of fans were suggesting. A lot of fans, had, a lot of people on social media, a lot of people in the comments, Nikki said it, a lot of people were saying this. I believe I said it. Just do that. Just take a little part payment, a little deposit, whatever, and, and hold the seat. Um, I think this is a good option, you know, and I think a lot of people come out to to sort of say, yeah, the board are great, look what they've done, you know, let's give them credit. And yeah, you can give them a little bit of credit for acting quickly on it. However, don't forget, they tried to pull a fast one. If we didn't come out and say this, they wouldn't have realised this on their own. They'd have been happy. They'd have been happy to, you know, let people go and do that other option. This just shows you the power of fans and the power of the voice that we have. Because, and I think another thing is, they realise, and that, look, I know social media isn't a complete, you know, doesn't completely speak for the entirety of the fan base, but what I was seeing, a lot of fans, and you can go through the comments of my video, you can go through social media, a lot of fans were saying, I'm not renewing, I'm not renewing my ticket. And I bet you, if you was to go to West Ham's posts on Twitter and Facebook and all of that, and maybe even the ticket office, a lot of fans are probably saying, I'm not renewing. And they had to face that possibly. There is no 50,000 seat of waiting list, ticket waiting list or whatever the hell they're talking about. There's no waiting list. You know, so they know that. So they know if they get a lot of people not review, renewing at all, not only are they not going to get the, all of this money that they, they want to get for this, by having us pay our season tickets in full, but when it comes to the next season now, a lot of people won't come back. There's not as many people lining up desperate to get West Ham season tickets as you think. 
you know, a lot of people gave them up, you know, in that first, second, third season when we went to London Stadium just because it weren't the same feeling, you know. And now they, they try to pull this, a lot of people were, were looking to give it up, you know, even still. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they had this already, right? They had this already in their back pocket and was like, let's see if we can get away with just putting out option one and two and we'll just see what happens. And then everyone was like, what the fuck? I ain't renewing that room. He's like, quick, put out option three, put out option three. Like, that would not surprise me in the slightest because what, this is like, you know, it's not even 24 hours. So it is good that they moved, they moved quickly on this and it's, it's good for them as well because because now that's cleared up, a lot of people now can then decide on what they're doing with the season tickets. And I think um, a lot of people will take up the option to take up that option three who was not going to renew. Um, you know, and I was having serious doubts about renewing. I was strongly feeling not to renew. Um, so looking at that, I'll probably take up option three in my usual fashion. I'll leave it to the last minute to renew, make them sweat a bit. I'll uh, advise you to do the same. It's always good. Let them, um, you know, because let them actually move their asses in the transfer window and uh, you know, before they get our money and then they can go oh, renew. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But I think ultimately it's a good option. I don't if anyone's got any holes to pick through that. I'd like to hear it. But um, yeah, I think it's good. But let's, you know, let's not um, <laughs> all sit there and roll out the red carpet for them and you've got to realise that, yes, this is they've done the right thing in the end, but let's not forget what they tried to do. So, good stuff. Now, that's behind us. Let's look to see what they do in the transfer window because that's, that's huge. That's huge. We're going to be covering some stories. I'm going to get some transfer windows videos out this week. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments below. Will you be renewing? Or has this changed your mind? If you weren't going to renew, has this changed your mind about renewing? What option are you going to take? One, two, or three? And um, yeah, look after the rest of the videos. Come on your own.